everybody. Final thoughts time for airlines. Oopsie. Ah, sorry about that. Planes, Airlines, Europe. Okie doke. This is a neat, neat game. Jen and I like it a lot. And in fact, quite frankly, this has killed Ticket to Ride for us. I don't know why we would ever play Ticket to Ride over this game, you know, because it has, you know, a lot of the same feel. Not surprising, it's from the same designer as Ticket to Ride, but it adds so much. There's so much more going on, so much fun stuff to think about. You know, all the bluffs and double bluffs, you know, the races across the board. You know, I mean, all the stuff you get from Ticket to Ride, but then all this stock market manipulation on top is just delightful. In all honesty, this makes, I think, for a really great graduation. If somebody knows Ticket to Ride and they want to, you know, take it to the next level, this is a great game. Now, actually, the only thing I could complain, I, I'm, I'm going to ignore the problem with the orange and red planes looking exactly the same. That is too bad, but it doesn't affect us in a two-player game. I mean, heck, even if that problem didn't exist, we'd probably still want to put the purple planes in anyway because they're just cooler and Jen loves purple. But, you know, obviously that's going to be a problem for some people. You, I don't know what the best solution for it is. I've never looked into it because we've never played this with more than two. But you will have to do something because that purple and red, just it's ridiculous how close they are together. So that's an issue. And I guess some people would say it's maybe an issue for lesser player counts because if somebody has a really good memory, you can keep track of what cards people have drawn and whatnot and how many points they've scored. You know, there's a lot of hidden information in this game. And with only two players, I imagine for, um, you know, um, you know, um, brainiacs out there that it wouldn't be too terribly hard to keep it straight. Now, Jen and me, we just don't do that. Um, you know, we have agreed, we have a gentleman, our ladies and gentlemen agreement that we will not do the equivalent of counting cards, i.e. counting victory point chips. We just don't do that um, because we think it's a lot more fun to just never be sure or to only have just maybe like a rough idea. Well, I know he recently took, I think he's taken a few whites as opposed to just mental inventory. Right. There's another white on him. I have to remember, I'm, you know, that, that, that's unfortunate. And maybe for some people who can't turn that off, this game would actually suffer for that. Now, obviously, with more players, it's not going to be an issue because there's so many people to keep track of, you're going to lose track of it, but it might be a small issue. But for us, it's not really a problem. And uh, actually, I would say the only thing that really bugs me about this game, and it does bug me quite a bit, I wish there was some way to get around it, but the real problem with this, thematically, this game makes no sense at all. I, I, I just don't understand. Who are we? Because you know, we're these rich people. Obviously, we own shares in these companies, and yet we are spending our own personal money to buy um, air routes for these companies, maybe companies we don't even own. And then there's the issue of, well, okay, if I have these carts in my hand, do I actually have shares in this company? Because I had to pay money to get these shares, and then I put them on the board for free and get dividends, but it's only a one-time thing. I mean, simply put, this game bears absolutely no relationships to the realities of how any kind of stock market works. And, um, you know, and, and, and correct me if I'm wrong, people who know more about the stock market, maybe, I don't know, maybe this represents vesting shares or something like that, or hidden options, or I don't know what, but it makes no sense thematically. And it's a shame. It would be much nicer if it, if it would, because I feel a little bit more invested in what's going on thematically. But putting that aside, just as a kind of a fun stock market-like exercise, it is pretty cool to wonder, oh, God, oh they just took a black. Jen just took a black. Does she have any more blacks? I've still got these two. I was thinking I was strong in blacks. I was going to trade these in for Air Abacus cards, but maybe I shouldn't. But, you know, I mean, that, uh, it has been really, really awesome moves where, you know, I've just been working really, really hard on an airline all the way through, got it really high, and then at the end of the game, suddenly, boom, Jen just puts down five of that color and blows me away. And, you know, I mean, there's just so much fun. Uh, one's upsmanship in this game that we really, really enjoy. I mean, I guess there's a bit of blocking, too. I don't think you can really block that much in a two-player game. So I don't think that much that comes up as an issue much. I know there's actually several little promo expansion things for this as well. We've got them all. Additional, you know, airlines can have additional target goals. There's things you can do that like flight bans. You can actually put blockers on the board. Uh, there's like air. You, you can have the presidents of these companies in your pocket and get special abilities. There's a bunch of stuff you can do to add. We never bother with any of it because we just think the base game is so cool. Someday maybe we'll get sick of the base game and add them. But just off the top, this game is just great fun right out of the box. And I think this is something you really could uh, you know, get, play well with anybody. The only downside to it is thematically it makes no sense at all. But that's a minor complaint in the grand scheme of things when a game like this is so much fun. The little plastic planes are cool. It's a very colorful board. 
Really, really great all around. Alan R. Moon, well done, sir. For, um, actually, I should say, this is not the original. Originally, this is a, I believe this is a combination of two different games he's done in the past. Uh, Union Pacific and, and um, just airlines before it was Europe. And uh, so this is actually like a culmination of several of his games. And so it shows. He's a master designer, and this is one of his master works. And it's a great, fantastic game. So thanks for watching, everybody. Sorry for mistakes I made. I know I can't, I don't know how many times I forgot to draw a card. That's really embarrassing that I mixed that up. But still, hopefully I have a pretty good idea of how it plays. Let me know where I goofed up. Please tell me the timestamp so I can add notes. It makes it my life so much easier if you do that. But other than that, I'm gonna wish you a good day and uh, have a safe flight. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.